Hey guys, um, uh, I'm already emotional. Uh, my name is Marie, and um, I have something that's really, I have to get it out. The daughter's telling me something I need to share. I need you to listen with open ears and open mind. Okay, this is from the Lord. I uh, was watching some clips on um, what people are calling a hate group, um, the Hebrew Israelites that are that were protesting, um, and. Uh, While I don't agree with the language and the form of um, the anger, um, but they were speaking truth. Uh, the Hebrew Israelites, God's chosen people, are what we call African American. Okay, they're not African and they're not American. They are God's chosen people as well as the Indians and the Mexicans. Um, and if it's the first time you're hearing this, you need to read the Bible. Because it's, the proof is in the Bible, in genetics. Um, anyways, you need to read, okay? And you need to pray about this. Um, so, you know, I was just, praying about this and I was just, you know, just really heartbroken by how they were received and how they were, you know, putting themselves across, you know. And uh, this song comes on, I'm, I'm driving to work and the song comes on the radio, good, good father. And the Lord, his spirit came over me, he said, My children don't know what a good, good father I am. They haven't experienced how perfect I am. Right now, they are scrambling. They're woken up and they're scrambling because it says in my word that if you remember my, remember my covenant I made with you, then I will remember you. So these people are scrambling, and many of them are very angry. You have no place, none, to be ridiculing them. These are God's children. And the Lord said they are scrambling. They're reaching out for me in the best way they know how. How are they gonna know how to love when they haven't experienced love in thousands of years? They have been separated from me they're trying to reach back to me. He said, pray for them. Pray for them. Even if you don't agree that they are Hebrew Israelites, if you are a Christian, claim to be, then pray for them. That's what Jesus says to do. Pray for your enemies. Well, guess what? They're not your enemies. The Hebrew Israelites are the, ra the reason why salvation was brought to the world through their failure. We, the rest of us, have been grafted in. It's all in Scripture. I don't have the Bible with me, so I can't look it up, and I'm really bad with my memory. But I'm speaking truth. Scripture. Okay? Shame on you, America calling them the worst hate group in America. When we, as Americans, America has raped, murdered, made them property, God's children. You know what else the Lord told me? If you are Hebrew and you're watching, bless you. I'm praying for you. Those that are angry, I'm praying for you. Those that are hurting, I'm praying for you. Those that are reaching out, wondering, what does this mean? What do I do? I'm praying for you and the 
Lord is coming back. He's coming for you. He's coming for you. Vengeance is mine. Don't worry about all this. Just focus on me. Read my words. Listen to my words. Listen to my son. Listen to my son. Go back. Come back to the covenant. Come back into my arms. Listen. I love you. I'm coming for you. Don't worry about everybody else. I got it. That's what he's saying. Bless you. Israel, bless you. The true Israel, bless you. Bless you.